Hi there, this is Osa with a new process video and today I'm working with these photos of the fourth cat in my life and this is Signe and she's just a little sweet fur ball that I've only met one time and instantly fell in love with her. This is the second cat of my uh, sister-in-law and uh, uh, this is the same sister-in-law who owns the previous cat, Svinto. Uh, Signe just became a member of our family uh, just a couple of weeks ago and as I said I've only met her uh, once but the first time my eyes <laughs> uh, I saw when I saw this this kitten I fell so in love with her. Uh, this is the most adorable kitten I've ever seen. She's She's even more uh, white than uh, you can see in the photos. She has this bright, bright, bright white uh, fur, uh, like the foundation of her color is white, and then there's gray, and she is just so lovely. This is a Maine Coon kitten, uh, just like the, the previous cat, and they will be living together, and uh, yeah, she will be queen, 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 queen. She's so lovely. I am going to continue working with these uh, Simple Stories Cats Snap um, Pack collection. And uh, today I'm going with this um, cat card that you see uh, on the top of the screen now, the one with the striped cat. And uh, then I'm going to pick up on that combination of colors uh, to work with these photos. Uh, the photos of the kitten, they aren't very good and it was actually really hard to take photos of her because her um, her fur is so fluffy and uh, um, the pattern isn't distinct so it was hard for the camera to kind of focus on her so everything became blurry. Very strange really and uh, next time when I photograph her I will try and focus on something close to her instead of trying to focus on on the fur because uh, it, it was just so strange and the, the optic uh, effect <laughs> that I got on the camera uh, that is was just strange but I managed to uh, choose a couple of photos so uh, and make them small so that the blurriness was less obvious. So I have five photos for this layout and uh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> no problem, I like working with multi-photo and uh, the two of them are a bit larger. They have the same size as the Project Life cards that I'm working with and I will be placing these as a grid or uh, two lines of cards uh, going on the middle of the page and I'm working once again with white cardstock as a base. Uh, since I wanted a bit of a like a frame around the different cards the space or the width of the paper was too uh, small so instead of uh, scrapping that idea or uh, making the idea a different one I decided to cut thin slivers of the cards where they had, they had uh, less information and then uh, ma by making them smaller I can have that white border uh, by my photos that, that I was looking for. Now I'm going to cover up some parts of these uh, cards with the cat photos so I get rid of that little purr that was in the speech bubble and uh, uh, I didn't think that uh, it it uh, was anything wrong with uh, placing that in the middle of the speech bubble. The, uh, it fits perfect there, I think, and uh, you can see the whole uh, speech bubble around it. And uh, then I'm also covering up uh, a piece of that uh, card with the yarn. But I think this was really a fun kind of way of displaying these smaller photos. It, the cards almost became as frames uh, for the photos. I have a, a card that says furball 
and it has the same color combination as the uh, stylized cat there that I'm gluing onto the paper right now. And I thought that kind of made the theme for this page. And I'm later going to pick up on the brown as well and make that into uh, a foundation for my clusters. I'm really a cat person, I must say. I, I, I really don't have anything against dogs, but cats, they are more like me. And I, the, like dogs, they are overly enthusiastic about lots of stuff. And I'm, I'm not that kind of person that expresses my feelings and in the way that a dog does. And I think that <laughs> my my mood is more like a cat mood. Even though I'm I'm a very uh, grateful and thankful and a happy person, uh, I I often think as a cat, uh, like a cat, I think, <laughs> and. Uh, uh, a bit like uh, sarcastic and, and ironic uh, and uh, uh, yeah I, I can relate to to the expression that I I see on my cat's faces <laughs> and and I think it's it's both fun and easy for me to to try and translate these um, expression into few human feelings even though that's uh, pretty much against my my view of, of nature <laughs> I don't. I really don't uh, uh, see animals as as uh, humans in that way. But but when it comes to family members like uh, like your pets, uh, <laughs> I, I I kind of uh, see them as as uh, furry people, <laughs> and uh, and I guess uh, most uh, animal lovers uh, do that as well. But but cats are those that fit me perfectly. And I, I just love them. I, I love all cats that I meet. And, and if I go somewhere and, and they have a cat, I, I, I tend to pay more attention to the cat than to the people. That's, I think that's the introvert um, uh, side of me uh, talking there. I, I, love, I love cats. <laughs> uh, I really have enjoyed making this uh, very, like, for... Uh, episode uh, series with the cats and uh, I thought that was really fun to to make a series uh, in the same way I'm using the same series um, collection uh, the simple stories cat snap collection and uh, I, I've felt that it it was it was fun I don't think that these layers will go together in the album but in my Instagram, for example, they will be right next to each other, and and they they really look really nice together, and uh, it was fun to 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 have like a theme for a couple of layouts, and and also on here on YouTube to be able to just do something that's a bit more organized than I usually do. Uh, this is the last cat. I don't have I don't have more cats in my life at the moment. Perhaps I will go and dig out. Uh, an older photo and, and scrap a couple of uh, uh, cats that are in heaven and uh, but I don't know if I will do that soon or if it's some a project for future but but I have that opportunity as well if I have uh, if I feel that I need to do more cat layouts with different cats but I have lots of photos of my my two cats uh, that w there will be more cat layouts in the future I'm writing a bit of journaling here for the uh, the like when she came into our family and uh, uh, what we thought about her and, and that she was really shy when we met her first. Uh, after this layout, I will do a couple of more random layouts for a while, and then I'll show you the layouts I did for National Scrapbooking Weekend. Uh, and those are pretty much random as well. Uh, I went with a couple of challenges that was really uh, wide and uh, I pretty much made the layouts that I just wanted to do. But the, the theme will be the layouts I did during that weekend. So, but that's, I think, three or four uh, layouts um, into the future. I had some wood grain paper on my desk and I decided to make a couple of half circles with a paper punch and place those together with the uh, embellishing clusters that I made on the diagonal of the page 
I made a border strip in brown cardstock and I went with all the bits and pieces that I had cut off the cards as embellishment and layering in those two clusters. I thought that was really fun to use up all the small bits and pieces because they were really colorful and uh, went with the uh, uh, color theme and uh, fit perfectly since they were the same paper. A little ball of uh, or a little bow of twine I'm using yellow and white baker's twine. I wanted to pick up a bit on the red as well. I have red in the furball um, the title card and also in the cat card and the ball of twine uh, in one of the smaller cards. So I wanted to pick up a bit more on the red and like stretch the red uh, into the embellishment clusters. So I'm writing Maine Coon as the like the kind of cat she is uh, at the upper uh, upper corner, and then I I went with a, a sentiment sticker from the same uh, sticker sheet. You make me happy in the lower corner. I have written her name uh, within like asterisks as a title and uh, in the thickest, the thickest that uh, Cindy sent me and uh, I thought that was really fun and I liked that to make I like that I could make the title a bit longer by using those uh, star shapes. Now I'm tying everything together uh, with the same embellishment finishing touch that I've used in the previous three layouts and I'm using the cat wood veneers from Studio Calico and I'm color them coloring them with brown ish <laughs> brown uh, acrylic paint from uh, Ranger. It's the paint daba distress paint. And uh, when those dry up, I'm placing them in a couple of different pla places on the layout, uh, a bit random. I didn't follow any rules. Uh, for, for these. I just placed them where I thought they fit and uh, I I remember that I thought it I, I had a bit of a problem because I had um, the cats were facing pretty much the same direction all of them and that made them hard to place because I want them to look into the page not off the edge of the page but I, I think I managed to, to do rather well by placing them in, in groups so that they could follow each other and uh, yeah, <laughs> the two of them are sitting back to back, but that that was okay in that one uh, in that one place. And here's the finished scrapbook page layout, and uh, I am happy about this layout. I'm happy about the series I made, and it's been really fun to to work with a, a theme like this for a couple of layouts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon again. Take care. This is Osa. Bye!